Elvis which movies are the best ones of Elvis? What are the best Elvis Presley motion pictures? What are some acceptable motion pictures featuring Elvis Presley? To begin with, we need to characterize our boundaries of what a great film is. There is no resident gain, Lawrence of Arabia, Reparation, or Casablanca's on his IMDb posting. Yet, for a rowdy music vocalist with restricted acting freedoms given to him in the entertainment world, he made a few movies that are altogether charming and procure a good be in famous filmmaking. In all actuality, he made a ton of truly schlarky subordinate films also, and many do not merit an opportunity to endure. In any case, there are some that merit watching, considerably more than once. His film debut in Affection Me Delicate, 1956, demonstrated that he had something to give the film business. He's a delicate and all-around cast, so his ungainliness and youth were incorporated into the job and served him well. He was recorded with the goal that his attractive face was constantly lit and shot from wonderful points, and he was given a real top 40 hit melody to sing. It's a common conflict acting including a family, desire, and double crossing. Standard B film passage, however it's not difficult to endure. Furthermore, despite the fact that Elvis isn't the star of the film, it's reasonable while watching why he turns into a star. Two of his best movies went ahead of the impact points of his presentation film, Jailhouse Rock, 1957, and King Creole, 1958. The two motion pictures played to his singing profession picture of being a wild terrible kid, and he plays them as far as possible in two contemporary dramas about an insubordinate young person and his guitar, and ways with the women. Both are shows, with the previous having the profoundly engaging favorable luck to have his completely arranged jailhouse rock hit included, which is a champion for any film. The last is maybe his best film and positively the one with the most grounded plot. Is a change of habit is a movie also starring Mary Tyler Moore. It just shows towards the last movie he did he could act not only as a singer but as an actor as so forth as many other movies he did it was. Colonel Tom Parker who told Elvis you are there to sing not to perform acting he tried to make Elvis look silly on camera. Elvis had the talent to act as an actor but for Colonel Tom Parker his mind was on music for Elvis not acting but singing. It was his first movie in Love Me Tender he showed he could act. Especially the part when he died in the movie at the end it made his mother cry seeing his son die as for many other Elvis fans. The appearance of the movie in its non-melodic minutes is rigorously noir, and the entire piece is smoothly coordinated by the producer. But as for Elvis's movie, King Creole clues at the film profession that he might have had without his supervisor Colonel Tom Parker. Parker's consistent avarice to show his peacock customer is always grinding part of guiltlessness to bring in cash. At that point, you are essentially in the rule of Elvis, the ruler of C-film rock and roll abuse motion pictures. The majority of them have little to credit them, past Elvis himself, who is just about consistently a brilliant light on the screen. Be that as it may, the movies are subordinate with ragged plots, below average co-stars, generally, and modest creationist teams. Nonetheless, there are a couple that I believe are valuable in the great Elvis film class like Jailhouse Rock and many others. As a matter of first importance, Viva Las Vegas, 1964, in which he featured with then the heavenly diva Anne Margaret. No inquiry, when the rowdy terrible kid, this time a race vehicle driver slash rock and move awful kid, and the hottie with the whip, this time a dance teacher slash dream girl with the whip, get together, their signs light the screen ablaze. There is a plot, don't chuckle, in a considerable lot of these movies, there truly isn't, which isn't frightfully confounded however keeps things moving during the occasions between probably the best melodic numbers in any of the Presley films. The two of them sound, and look, attractive and lovely and excessively ideal for this world. It's to be expected to discover that off camera they were carrying on a hot issue, in actuality. The other Presley film which merits good notice is Blue Hawaii, 1961, in which he co-featured with Angela Lansbury, Joan Blackman. Elvis and G.I. Blues was also a good movie to watch. Getting back to Hawaii and his adoration and family issues is the system on which to hang some marvelous Elvis numbers, including his graph-beating change of Bing Crosby's quite a few years old adaptations of the title Dune. This movie additionally is outwardly a knockout, Hawaii has infrequently been recorded all the more flawlessly. 
Strangely, Presley was 26 at the time this film was delivered, and a not yet 36-year-old Angela Lansbury played his character's mum. Nancy Walters, who was given a role as the more established the teacher was, in actuality, just a year and a half older than Presley. Only for the record a couple of titles to stay away from like Bubonic, Plague Our Change of Propensity, The Issue with Young Ladies Lives a Little Love a Little The Trouble with Girls, Harem Scarum Speedway Spins Out Clambake Frankie and Johnny and Tickles Me. On the off chance, you might want to really endure the most exceedingly terrible of most noticeably awful dot emo dot that would be Kissing Cousins, in which he plays twins one blonde and one brunette in the slope I think Kentucky. Think homebrew shotguns and hilly billy young ladies in exceptionally short dresses dot it's so terrible it's acceptable in any case it's bad ha ha.
Oh, <laughs> my 